Are you new to Discord or have you been on it for a while? Well, today's video is the one for you. It doesn't matter if you've been on it for a while or you're just getting started. Because in today's video, I'll be telling you the basics of Discord, how to grow your server a little bit, how to get it a bit active, etc, etc. Technically, it's the ultimate guide to Discord. I may do a part two because I can't cover everything in this video. Before we do get into the video, there's a couple of things that I want to mention. According to my YouTube statistics, only 38% of all of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. It means a lot if you could go and hit that subscribe button because it helps support me and it's completely free so it won't cost you a single penny. Also make sure to go and hit that like button, let's hope we can get to 700 likes in the first 48 hours and check you're still subscribed purely because of a YouTube glitch going around unsubscribing people. Make sure to comment some feedback, join my Discord servers and also follow me on Twitter. Make sure to also go check out my editor's channel for today's video and also go and join the subscriber shout out for today which will be just after this intro. They do nitro giveaways there so make sure to check them out. Anyways what we're going to do is we're going to get straight into today's video with the basics of discord so let's get into that right guys so today's subscriber shout out is mc galaxy they do loads of nitro giveaways including the one i've got on screen right now they've got two one year of nitro giveaways that seem to be running at the moment so make sure to go check them out with the link that is being on screen and also make sure to let them know that you're from me too Anyways guys, enjoy the video and have an awesome day. Right guys, so the basics of Discord are here on the Discord login page. If you're new to Discord or if you've not made an account, what you want to do is you want to go to discord.com slash login or download the Discord app for your computer or your phone. I'll put some links in the description on the discord.com slash login and also the download pages for the PC version. If you want to download it for your iPhone or Android device, all you'll do for iPhone is by going to the app store, typing in Discord and then it will come up and you download it. If you want to do the same for Android, all you do is you go to the Google Play Store or the Play Store and you type in Discord and download it. It's as simple as that. It doesn't cost anything. It's completely free. If you'll make an account, all you do is you hit register. You fill in your email, your username, your password and your date of birth. Then you do a little bot quiz to make sure that you're not a bot and then you get accepted. You can then verify your email because Discord will send a verification email to your email address and you can verify that way. Now that's all said and good, but what if you already have an account? Well, if you don't know how to log in, all you do is you just go to this page and you either type in your email password and then your two-factor if you have that, or if you have it on your phone and you're logged in, all you do is you log in with a QR code. So what you do is you just go to your phone and you scan it and it will allow you to log in. Once you've logged in, you can do a lot more. And I'll get into some of the other basics right now. So one of the first things you probably want to do is probably know how to change your profile picture. Now, all you do is you go down to your user settings, then you go into edit, and then you click change avatar. So basically you click here and you can choose a file. If you want to change your password, again, you just go to your my account settings or your email address, etc, etc. If you want to change your username, you can also change it here. You can delete or disable your account here as well. And you can also enable two factor authentication. So make sure to do that. It is very good to help secure your account. If you want to change who can message you or add you as a friend, all you do is you go to here and you change privacy and safety. Safe direct messaging. My friends and I, so they basically scan messages for you, allow direct messages from server members and who can add you as a friend, etc, etc. If you want to request your data, then just just go to the bottom of here and you can request it there too. You can then authorize apps as well and also add connections to your account which will show up on your profile. You can do this all here. And if you want to see your billing history, you just go to billing. If you want to get Discord Nitro, which is a paid subscription service, all you do is you go to subscriptions and you can either buy it for yourself or gift it for someone too. Now bear in mind, if you don't have money for this, I've done two videos about how to get Discord Nitro for free, so make sure to go check them out too. If you do have a gift which you bought for someone but no one's claimed, it'll be sitting in your gift inventory. If you have server boosts, you can get in the server boost section and it will show you how long you've been boosting there since what date and also if you want to cancel the boost subscription or transfer the boost. Now if you want to join Hype Squad which is something which anyone can do straight away just go into your user settings again and all you do is you go to Hype Squad and you take the test. You answer a series of five questions and it will automatically add you to a Hype Squad house. This means you will get a badge on your profile. Then you can also change the input and output devices under voice and video. You can change your input mode so voice activity or push to talk which means you're pushing a button to talk which means that it's not automatically picked up your sound. Also for video settings you can change what camera you're seeing and you can also enable noise suppression etc etc and following things. For notifications you can change it on for push notification in active timeout, text and speech notifications and other sounds for example etc. Keybinds. 
You can enable keybinds in the keybind section and game activity it will say what games you've been playing previously. And then text and images, you can just go over here and you can change it. For example, if you want to type a smiley face and Discord not to convert it, all you go is to text and images and you turn off automatically convert emoticons to your messages to emoji. For appearance you can change it. If you want to go to the dredged light mode and burn your eyes, all you do is you click light. Oh my god, that is so bright. And then you immediately want to turn it back to dark because you will probably go blind. Then, if you want to potentially see more things compactly, you just click compact and it will show it like that. You can then change scaling and space, etc, etc, and enable developer mode if you want to get someone's Discord ID. I'll show you that in a second. You can enable streamer mode so it will hide your private information and language to change what language you want. So for example, if I wanted to be German for a day, then I could change it to German and then I would have everything in German. But because I'm from the UK, I'll keep it as English UK. Then for change log, it will tell you what things are new or updated to the Discord. If you want to log out, just click log out. And if you want to follow Discord on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, you can just click their things right at the bottom. Then if you want to see your version, just go down here and it will show that too. If you want to send someone a friend request, all you do is you go and click the friends button up here. What you do is you click home, click friends, and then you can go add a friend. For example, if I wanted to add someone, like for example, adding myself, this won't work. But if you wanted to add someone, all you ask is for their username and their discriminator, which is the numbers part, and then you can add it. Bear in mind, this is case sensitive, so it does need to be exact. If you want to check your blocked, all you go is here and check your pending. So incoming friend requests or sending friend requests, you can go here too. For all, you can see all of your friends here and online, you can see the ones that are online. For library, this are people that have things such as Discord games and you can go and play them from here. To get Nitro an easier way, all you do is you click the Nitro tab here and you can get Nitro that way. To check your direct messages or create a new group chat, all you do is you click that little plus button and it allows you to do it. You can check all your DMs through here, etc, etc. If you want to join a server after you've done all of that, all you do is you go add server, join server, and then you type in an invite link. This could be a link or it could just be the end part of the code after the forward slash. So this could be, for example, SFE, one of my servers, and it will invite you to here. If you don't know what servers to join, all you do is you go and hit that explore public servers. It will tell you a lot of different categories and also some popular servers or communities for games you play. You can then join them or even lurk in them if you want to see it. I might be explaining how to get into server discovery at a later date, so keep an eye out for that. Once you've made your server, you probably want to do a lot of different things. All you have to do is you go to server settings, you go into roles and you can add role. Over here, you can change inactive and in that timeout. And also you can change the AFK channel, etc, etc. And enable community if you go to the community tab. This will give you features such as server insights, enable discovery and welcome screen. Bear in mind, you do have to have over 10,000 members be partnered or verified to enable discovery, but I will be going into this at a later date in more detail. You can see the server boost status, which allows you to unlock more perks. I've done a whole video on this, so make sure to check that out if you want more details. To see your member list, all you do is you go over to server members and it will tell you how many members you got and it will give you the whole list of them. You can change it to make it var role. So for example, for the custom role, it's only these two accounts. For invites, it will show you all of the invites to the server. So that is also cool and you can also remove them. For the bands, it will also show you all of the bands that the server has. If you do want to grow your server, there's a couple of tips that I suggest. First of all, make sure to add your server onto a server list. For example, TopGG is a great server list that you can use. All you do is you go to topgg slash server slash new and log in with your Discord account at the top where it says log in. Then you can add your server by clicking add your server and follow the instructions that are on page. Then people can potentially find you through the server list. Also, another top tip is by getting your friends to join and also share with their friends. And also another top tip is by doing giveaways or paid advertisements in other servers. This can really help promote your server out and get your server increased joins. If you want to get it active, the best thing is to host events or even get your staff to talk and chat, including yourself as well. I've done a whole video about how to grow your server, get it active, get your VCs active, etc, etc. And also videos on how to set up your server, how to make it look awesome, etc. So if you want to see how to do your server activity, member count, etc etc on how to make it look good all you do is just go to my discord tips playlist and there's a whole series about how to do that so i won't cover more of that in today's video however i will be explaining some other stuff if you go onto someone's discord profile you may see some certain badges for example the discord partner badge is like an infinity sign high school defense is basically just some gold badge then you've got other ones like verified bot developer early supporter nitro and stuff i've done a whole video about how to get these so make sure to check that out but if you want more information about these all you do is you just click on it and it will take you to the web page all about that Badge. So for example, I just clicked on partner and it would take me to discord.com slash partners, which eventually will load, but my internet is apparently slow. It finally has, and it will basically just tell you all the information about the badge and everything like that. 
If you want to send attachments on the Discord server, all you do is you click the plus button on the left. If you want to send a Nitro GIF, you click the GIF button. If you want to send an animated image, all you do is you click the GIF button. And then if you want to send an emote, you go here. Bear in mind, if you want to use emotes that are on other servers, you will have to have Nitro or be partnered or anything like that, etc, etc. So make sure to get Nitro or go into servers that have global emotes, for example. You can use the server's emotes in the server that you're talking in, as long as they're not animated. However, you will not be able to use them elsewhere. There are a bunch of standard ones you can use, though. If you want to see how to get these announcement little things, all you do is you just enable the community tab, which is on here, which will give you a lot of different stuff, including these. And then you just go plus to create a channel announcement or if you want to you can just go in here and then you go edit channel and change it to announcement if you do want to change your channel to not safe for work which means 18 plus you just click here and it will change that you can also change the description by just clicking channel topic and you can change the permissions there so that is basically all of the server stuff now what else is there is there anything like discord merch well currently discord merch is not available they did say that they'll be opening the shop again eventually. Discord partner should be opening up again soon but requirements have been dropped a verified servers again that will be opening up soon. However, the applications are not dropped. I'll be doing a video all about verified and partner servers as soon as the applications drop, so make sure to tune in for that. Is there anything else that I really need to cover? Probably not. To be honest, this is probably the ultimate guide to Discord. It's telling you how to do some of the setup things for new users, and it's also telling you how to do stuff for the server owners and stuff like that. The only other stuff that I want to mention, if you just drag one server over another server, it will create a folder. However, if you do want to add a server to a folder, all you do is you drag it and it will plop in. Apart from that, Discord does have some official servers, so I'll put the links on screen to some of them, such as discord.gg slash discord-testers, which is all about testing the application, or discord.gg slash discord-townhall, which is basically all about the main community side of Discord, etc, etc. There are some private ones, such as the partner server and the Hype Squad events, which I have explained in other videos related to partner and Hype Squad, so make sure to check them out. The final thing that I want to mention is to delete message, you just click more and you can go here, or you can go speak message or copy the ID as I mentioned earlier by turning on developer's ID, pinning the message or anything like that. And also if you do want to set a status such as such as this, then you can just click subscribe. And if you just want to change what people can see you as, so not appearing online, do not disturb so you won't receive notifications, idle or online, then you will see that as well. Eventually you will come back online too. Apart from that, that is basically all of the major Discord stuff related to servers and the beginners. So I might do a part two on this and there is a lot of stuff to cover on Discord. However, I've covered this in many, many videos previously. So make sure to check out the other videos on my channel like the tips videos and explain videos on how to get Discord Nitro for free. They're very useful and I'd recommend that. However, this is the ultimate guide to Discord, something about just getting started. And I really, really hope it's helped you if you're a new user, understand the platform a bit more or an existing user who just didn't know how to do anything. And one side thing, because I just keep getting mentions in this video, if you want to get mentions and read the mentions, all you do is you just hit this little inbox thing at the top. And if you need help, go here. And it will give you a lot more support because Discord has a support site. But that is all from me. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and comment some feedback. Have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll see you on Tuesday with the next upload. Peace out. <laughs>